Hi, my name is Patrick Brennan, and I'm here giving you a video recording for Awesome. Uh, first question, why do you want to work with Awesome? It's a great opportunity to work with the next generation of musicians and to help them become the best that they can be. It's local to my area, it, it allows the flexibility of setting my own rate, and I can give the students personalized instruction in an environment in which they feel most comfortable, their own homes. Uh, question two, how do you customize your curriculum based on your different students? My curriculum is, is deliberately fluid. I strongly believe that there are skills every musician and every percussionist, because I am a percussionist, needs to know. They, they do. But the rate and the path that students take to get there can be at the pleasure of the students. It doesn't have to be rigid or firm. As an example, if I had a student with a strong basis in ear training and musical phrasing, but who lacked strong rhythmic sense, I would gradually introduce them to more complex rhythms and patterns using music, such as uh, gospel and, and R&B music come to mind, that has strong roots in ear training and singing by ear, but also incorporates somewhat more rhythmic passages. Uh, question three, how do you balance fun while making meaningful progress in your lessons? I, <laughs> I, I get asked this question uh, more frequently than I care to admit by um, by a lot of parents of students who often see the only way of, of getting real progress to be made uh, as sitting in front of the piano or or the drum set or whatever instrument and just brutally going about it. I have tried that method of practice in the past personally. It does work, but it's soul crushing. Um, there, For me, there is no balance between fun and progress. Progress can't really be made if the student isn't having fun. Uh, for, for the exact reason that you'd expect, all instruction would just go in one ear and out the other. Uh, understandably, you know, students can get bored or, or frustrated with learning new material. I mean, nobody likes sitting in a room endlessly repeating scales or arpeggios. Um, instead, I, I firmly believe, or at least what's worked well for me, uh, Every effort should be made to find topics uh, or, or pieces of music that both interest a student and pertain to the subject matter at hand. The, the, early example, the earlier example I gave about gospel and R&B for the student who lacks strong rhythmic sense but is good at, at singing by ear and whatnot um, is a great example of that. I, I try to find pieces of music that are fun to play that also incorporate you know, the, the rudiment or piece of music theory, et cetera, et cetera, that I'm trying to teach the student. Um, if you can make your lessons engaging and fun, I firmly believe that you will make much faster, much more long lasting progress than if you sit them in front of a piano and say, please play the C major scale a hundred times and then you'll be good at it. Yes, you will be good at it, but you'll also hate it. You never want your budding music student to hate music. I don't know. Uh, question four, in a world full of opportunities, why do you choose to be a music teacher? Easy, because I would never have had the opportunities that I currently have if not for the truly tireless efforts of my music teachers. I, I can't really pay them back for it, so I want to pay it forward. You know, I, I'd love to give back to the world of music by helping educate the musicians of tomorrow.